So you got yourself your iPhone 12 Pro Max and you're figuring out what's the best case that you can buy to protect your device. Now I'm here to tell you there is no such thing as the best case, but I can give you an option that stuck out to me that I felt like was actually going to be a little bit worth it along with the fact that it's Apple certified because I got it from the Apple store. That's right. When I picked up my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I had to go on ahead and pick up the Apple leather case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this year, you guys already know that the Apple cases have the MagSafe included to help them with the MagSafe charging and with connection to the phone. So let's take a look at the Apple leather case and see how this thing fits and how it sits on the phone. And if I think it's worth the asking price that Apple is asking for it also, gonna get my hands on the apple silicone case tomorrow so we'll do a comparison of those side by side i've got a few gripes about this case and i've got a few gripes about the screen protector that i'm using so let's go ahead and dive into the video let you guys see what's going on with this case and leave let me know if you think that it's worth the 50 dollars asking price that apple's asking for let's get started so as you guys can see we got the apple leather case for the iphone 12 pro max with magsafe included now like i said this thing is not a cheap case this case retails for 59 dollars now i do get a discount through the apple store so i did not pay 59 dollars for mine but here's the honest to god truth in my opinion i don't think it's worth the asking price i think that there are much better i think there are better options out there when it comes to leather that you can pick up for your phone from nomad bellroy several other several other companies that i think you'll enjoy better and i'll link all of those down below in the description if you want to check them out and i'll link this down below because you may like this case for the one reason why i'm still using mine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on ahead and just open it up and see what you get here. Now I got my 12 Pro Max sitting right there and I'm gonna show you guys my issue with the screen protector on that phone in just a second. But as you can see, I went with the Navy to match the phone. You got a nice, just normal Apple leather case, you know, nothing else in there in the box. So we'll put all that to the side. You get your normal Apple instructions and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. So now you see that you have the MagSafe on the inside here. So the MagSafe on the inside is how the is how it's gonna stick to the case and how it's gonna stay nice and tight, but it's also gonna allow you to use your MagSafe charger on the back. Now my MagSafe charger will be here next week. I believe it'll be here on the 16th or the 17th, but it will be here next week. So you guys know we'll be checking that out. But when you put the phone in, okay? So I got my 12 Pro Max here. As you can see, the color is almost spot on. It's, it's literally almost the exact same color as the Pacific Blue. But before we put it on here, I want to show you guys the screen protector I got. Now, first off, check out the wallpaper. Shout out to my homeboy, Sean Brooks at Brooks Media. He shot this picture last year. Super dope picture of Chicago. Love this wallpaper, man. So the thing I have with this wallpaper, as you guys can see, I have a matte wallpaper because I like the matte textured finish of the wallpaper. But the issue is that it comes almost to the edge of the screen. Now this is from Mag Glass and this is supposed to be a case compatible version. But the issue that I ran into is the first case I used, which was a speaking case. When I put it on, it was pushing up the screen protector every time I hit the power button. So the Apple leather case is a good case to use because while it may not be the best case in the world, as you can see, gives me that dark blue ring to let me know that the MagSafe is on. It does give me enough room to wear I'm not touching the screen protector whenever I cut or whenever I cut the phone off or on. So that's the only good thing about it. You don't really get any kind of a lip at all. Like at all, you don't get any kind of a lip. You do get a closed bottom, which if you remember from the 11 Pro, the 10S Max and several and other generations, that wasn't, that wasn't a feature. So that is something nice. You do get a nice closed back. You get your power button, volume up and down. You get your switch, your toggle is uh, accessible in there. Nice raised camera bump protector so that you, when you put it on the table that's going to be fine i wish it had a little bit more lip the cases from last year i felt like had a lot more grip than this one did and as you can see my screen protector is already starting to come up just a tad bit on the side over here so my advice would also be if you're looking at a matte screen protector don't go with the mag glass because the mag glass is not case friendly like the like like it says on the uh description it's not a case compatible I don't know if it's just I got shipped the wrong one, but this is this this isn't a case a case friendly design. So, but for fifty nine dollars, for fifty nine dollars, it's a nice looking case. It's a decent case, but it's just not worth fifty nine dollars to me. Now the silicone cases, 
I'm, I'm a little bit more excited about that because I've heard more excitement about those than I have about this one. And I've been using this for about a day now. And I just, I think it's gonna go back because I'm not really feeling it like I thought I would be. Not like the Apple leather cases of old. It's nice case, dope case. Yes, it's Apple leather, feels really good in the hand. You know, the whole normal YouTuber routine, it feels so good in the hand. But you know, it just, it doesn't do it for me. Not for the price. And especially here at the bottom, one thing that I do notice is that whenever I pull it out of my pocket, it's always kind of like that, as you can see. So what worries me is that if I were to accidentally drop this and that was like that, that whole part right there may just expose itself when it drops. And that's just for $59. I need my, I need my case to be a little bit more than a fashion statement. I need it to have some, some type of protection. So that is the Apple leather case for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you like this case and you wanna pick up one for yourself to try it out, I always tell people, I encourage you, try it for yourself. You might like it. What doesn't work for me may work for you. So I have a link down below in the description where you can check one out if you wanna get one. Also, like I said, I would steer clear of this matte glass screen protector, this matte screen protector. If you're looking for a screen protector that's a matte finish, there are several other options out there that you can go with other than this one. But that being said, folks, Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. Comment down below what's your go-to case for your iPhone 12 Pro Max and let me know what you're gonna be using to protect this precious, beautiful hunk of a device. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Peace.